One of the things that yeah. disturbs me greatly is that all of our phones are made overseas, and then some well, of our phones are made in places and the chips. like. Yes, and the chips. And some of our phones are made in places like Foxconn, where they have nets around the building to keep people from jumping off the roof because they have so many suicides. Like, wouldn't it be better to have an American-made iPhone where you know people are paid good wages, they have health yeah. insurance, they're taken care of, they can live a good life, where you're not buying a piece of electronics that's cheaper because someone has to suffer a horrible in a horrible way that's not even legal in the United States. It's not even legal to have them work that way in the United States. So they get these people to build them overseas. You do it, but but let me just say, that chip deal is so bad. We put up billions of dollars for rich companies to come and then borrow the money and build chip companies here, and they're not going to give us the good companies anyway. All you had to do is charge them tariffs. If you were to put a tariff on the chips coming in, you would have been able to, just like the auto companies, no different. More sophisticated, but no different. You know, Taiwan, they stole our chip business, okay? They want us to protect, and they want protection. They don't pay us money for the protection, you know? The mob makes you pay money, right? But with these countries that we protect, I got hundreds of billions of dollars from NATO countries that were never paying us. And my biggest fan is Stoltenberg, who just left as the you know, director general, as a secretary general. Good guy. He said, Bush came, he made a speech. Obama came, he made a speech. Trump came, he said, you guys aren't paying, you got to pay. And they said, will you protect us from Russia if we don't? I said, no, you got to pay. If you don't pay, billions of dollars came in to NATO. When I see us paying a lot of money to have people build chips, that's not the way. You didn't have to put up 10 cents. You could have done it with a series of tariffs. In other words, you tariff it so high that they will come and build their chip companies for nothing. In other words, Joe, you put a big tariff on the chips coming in. I say, you don't have to pay the tariff. All you have to do is build your plant in the United States. We didn't have to give them the money to build the plant. Besides that, they're very rich companies. These chip companies, they stole, they stole 95% of our business. It's in Taiwan right now. They do a great job, but that's only because we have stupid politicians.